All right, so how about just taping those together and then we'll see what it looks like. My name is Charles Benneke. I'm from Akron. I teach at the University of Akron at the Mary Schiller Meyer School of Art uh, and I teach printmaking. I'm working on an installation called Spectre um, that's a response to the current climate change and global warming as impelled by humankind. So the installation begins with 24, 25 running feet of hand printed wallpaper. The pattern transitions across the expanse um, and as you get to the end, the wallpaper moves off the wall and begins to form a big cloud that progresses through the gallery. And then the piece ends to my right, sort of a separate piece, but uh, kind of a counterpoint where you can trade your carbon for art. So there'll be a series of shelves on the wall and a bracket with a book where if you assign a commitment to reduce your carbon footprint in some way, personally, um, then you can take a piece of work off the wall as a trade for that commitment. With the artwork, there's the artist who created the piece, and then there's the viewer, and the artwork exists somewhere in between the two of them. As individuals, our ideas, um, they make perfect sense in our heads, and we are so intensely familiar with them, but then when you take that idea outside of your head and put it into practical application, then things really start to take on a life of their own. Well, let's leave that as it is for now. And then let's um, play around with this ring and the end here. It's really exciting to see it begin to take shape because it's been inside my head for so long and scribbles on paper and to have it actually take form and begin to manipulate the space. It's pretty amazing. Alex is connecting some of the pipe that's that's forming the ribs of the structure. I think the toughest part is, for me, has been conceiving the structure that will support the piece, because I want it to feel as though it's moving effortlessly through the space. And I wanted it to feel as though it's something that's just happening because of our dis disregard for the way we're treating the environment and our thoughtlessness in how we are consuming natural resources and burning fossil fuels and all of those sorts of habits that we have that we don't necessarily think about the effect of. So with this piece, I wanted to create a form that was going to move in the space with the viewer and confront the viewer, and confront the viewer in an aggressive way. So working with the idea of having the plume hit the ceiling in a couple of spots and then sort of move around and bounce off the wall, feeling as though it's confined in this space the same as we are as, uh, as viewers which is what's happening in the world that we exist in, that you know, all of the pollution, all of the uh, disregard for the environment, that's not going anywhere, it's existing here with us. I'm excited for the dialogue that will hopefully exist around the piece because that's my opportunity to really listen and learn and will help me understand where I can take my work in the future and how to better communicate with my audience.